Hello everyone, my name is Blue Raven 666 and today I'm going to be covering something that I never really planned on talking about. In fact, up until a few weeks ago, I thought I was alone in this situation. But then I found out that was far from the truth. So I'm setting out on a mission in the hopes that nobody else has to deal with the same heartache that I went through, along with the individuals that helped me out with this video. It probably comes as a shock to absolutely nobody that I'm a bit of a furry. I may not own a fursuit or attend conventions regularly, but I do have a fursona and characters that I hold near and dear to my heart. One of these characters is Gyptus, the Dutch angel dragon, and he plays a very important role in the story that I'm about to tell you all, and reason number one as to why I'm making this video. I came across Gyptus while I was browsing on the dealersden.com, which, if you're not familiar with the site, is basically like a furry version of eBay. The maker that was auctioning him off, Dual Cat Studio, had him priced at around 2400 US dollars for full character ownership, including his concept art, a badge, and a full digigrade suit, if I remember correctly. Those of us in the furry community will know that's not a bad price, considering that is a full suit plus accessories. However, all of this took place around four or five years ago, and unfortunately, Gyptus' story doesn't have a happy ending. Over the course of several payments, I managed to pay off the $2,400 US dollars in full, all while keeping in regular contact with Dual Cat Studio via email. What happens next is pretty much every furry's worst nightmare. After a while, I stopped hearing from the maker that was working on Gyptus. I spent months checking Dual Cat Studios' Facebook page to see if I could find any new updates or work-in-progress pictures of my character, only to see Dual Cats taking on more new projects and finishing characters that hadn't even been posted for sale prior to Gyptus's commission. But I decided to be patient. After all, fursuit makers aren't able to just make a full fursuit overnight, and I didn't have any plans to attend any furry conventions at the time. Nor did I need this fursuit to be completed within a certain amount of time. So I waited. And waited. And waited. And after a year or so of waiting, and not hearing hide nor tail of Dual Cat Studio, I sent them a message, basically asking them, Hey! Where's my fursuit? Long story short, it's been four years. And all I have of Gyptus is his concept art, which is saved onto my phone, along with two work-in-progress pics that were sent to me shortly after I had finished my payments. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, if it turned out that I was the only victim in this, I would just sit here and suffer in silence. If it were just me, I wouldn't be making this video. I never put any pressure on Dual Cat Studio to hurry with my commission, I never demanded a refund, and I most certainly didn't pursue legal charges because I don't have the money for that. If it were just me, I would have just left it alone. Around three or four weeks ago, an individual by the name of Chaos contacted me via Facebook. Apparently, she and several other former customers that had commissioned the fursuit through Dual Cat Studio, now rebranded to Dynamic Cat Studio, also never received their commission, and they wanted to know about my experience with them. Now, before I go any further with this video, I would like to disclose that the following cases I will be talking about in this video, I was given permission to use. I won't be able to talk about all of them, not only because this video would end up being way too long, but also because most of the problems these individuals faced are all very similar. You guys are definitely going to notice a pattern with all of the bewares I was given for this video. If you'd like to learn more about each case in full, all of them are going to be linked down in the description below. Just as well, I'd like to make it known that I don't believe that this is a case of a scam fursuit maker. By all accounts, Dynamic Cat Studio appears to be a legitimate fursuit maker with a number of satisfied customers, and their finished projects show that the people working here have quite a bit of talent. However, no matter what your stance might be on furries or the furry community, I think we can all collectively agree that being screwed out of your own money sucks, 
and Shibe, the maker behind Dynamic Cat Studio, has some very questionable business and customer service practices that make them someone you might want to avoid getting a commission from if you're looking to actually get a fursuit. Chaos, the individual who first contacted me, commissioned DCS back in 2019 with a set deadline of October 2020, and has yet to receive a response from them or her fursuit. I find this interesting because Shime has a tendency to make commissions with deadlines the top priority. If one isn't given, then the date of completion is usually set anywhere between 6 to 8 months after the payment plan has been completed. This sort of system is typical amongst other fursuit makers that are out there. The problem here is that it's 2022, and Chaos has yet to hear anything about her fursuit or where it's at in terms of progress. This is not typical in comparison to the number of reputable fursuit makers that are out there, and unfortunately, my and Chaos's case are just the tip of the iceberg. It gets worse. Blue Velvet, a DCS customer I got in touch with on Twitter, finished payment plans for their fursuit in October of 2018, and was added to the queue on Dynamic Cat's website. They had a set completion date of March 2019. Like Chaos, Blue Velvet didn't receive any updates on their fursuit, and states in a warning post on their profile that when they tried to send an email to the maker asking about their commission, they only sometimes got a response back. Eventually, March passed, and they had yet to see or hear anything about their commission. Blue Velvet's first major update was in May of 2019, so already two months or so after their commission was supposed to be completed, and proceeded to go in circles with Shibe about getting refunded for their commission for three years, and is yet to get that refund or the suit they originally paid for. And this pretty much sets up the basic pattern we're going to see with the rest of these bewares. Things usually start off with little to no issues during the payment process. In my own experience, I would receive an email every week or two, ironing out the finer details of what I wanted for my fursuit, what projects were going to be worked on prior to mine being started, when I could expect Gyptus to be completed, smooth, clear, necessary communication, so that I might know what to expect. Then, as soon as the payment plan is complete, Dynamic Cat Studios is nowhere to be heard from. And when they are, there's always some sort of an excuse as to why projects aren't being finished on time. This goes on until the customer is either fed up, cancels their commission, and either demands a refund or just gives up on trying to contact Shibe altogether. Pyre had her own thoughts about her experience with Dynamic Cat Studio, and do note that I will be paraphrasing in some parts of this review. Excuses and dates push back, where there are other suits that have been waiting for years? I personally talked with a couple of people who commissioned you along with mine years ago, and feel upset for them. I was way too nice with my review when my partial besides the head and tail fell apart. Do not commission these people. Which brings up another point that brings into question just how professional Dynamic Cat Studio is at handling complaints and inquiries. The maker used to allow customers to leave reviews on their Facebook page, but the option has since been removed altogether. I'm not sure when this happened exactly, as I left a review on their page that brought up some of my own questions with my commission, and my best guess is that others ended up doing the same. I'm not going to say that removing the reviews and the option to leave them is an admission of guilt, but it definitely doesn't make them look good. Before I continue on with the testimonies of other customers, I'm going to bring up Dynamic Cat Studio's Trello page. Or as I've come to call it, the place where commissions go to die. Okay, that's a bit of an overstatement, but it's not entirely wrong. Gyptus has been sitting in the queue since it was created, and he's not the only one. At the time of writing the script for this video, the header for the queue states that the commissions are in no particular order. Which is a problem, because that means any commission that ends up in this queue could potentially be left to sit and rot and be forgotten about, rather than actually be given priority. And as you can see... Nothing has been worked on since I completed my payment plan for Gyptus. 
Moving right along with this insanity, there's the case of Kiara, who finished payment plans on a fursuit commission in December of 2017 and contacted Dynamic Cats about when they estimated it would be finished. This individual didn't receive a response until February of 2018, claiming that the suit would be started in two weeks, and at the time, Shibe was prioritizing suits for an upcoming fur con. And this claim was not just made in February of 2018, but in May and November of the same year, likely with another excuse to boot. A rough estimated time of completion fell somewhere around February of 2019. Then, on February 5th, 2019, Dynamic Cats contacted her again, stating that the commission would be started? But that they needed a little bit more time. So for an entire year, they kept saying that they'd be starting this commission soon, and over a year after completing the payment plan, Shibe still says that they're still going to be starting on Kiara's fursuit soon. And once again, it's 2022, and this individual has yet to receive their fursuit. Five years. It's been five years. I feel like the point is pretty obvious by now. I received 13 bewares in total for this video, and while we all pretty much went through the same turbulent hell with Dynamic Cat Studio, there are definitely individuals here who really got it a lot worse than others when it came to Shibi's lack of customer service and support. One individual who chose to remain anonymous for this video was understandably at their wit's end from DCS's lack of response and the lack of progress on their commission, and they demanded a refund. I will admit that I found this person's attitude becoming increasingly more abrasive and demanding as the conversation over said refund progressed. However, as this customer had been led on by Shibe for over a year over their commission, and the fact that it looked like the same cycle was about to repeat itself over this refund, if it were me in this position, I'd probably be at the end of my rope too. But it wasn't this aspect of this individual's beware that surprised me. No, what surprised me was Shibe's response. The final screenshot of this customer's last conversation with Shibe shows Shibe stating that they decided to cancel the refund. And I quote here, due to harassment, and tells this customer that if they wanted their money back, to go talk to their bank about it. Shibe ends the conversation by stating that they won't be contacting this person anymore. To say that I was stunned when I read that would be an understatement. I was genuinely speechless. In Shibe's defense, they had gone against Dynamic Cat Studios' own terms of service and agreed to the refund after this person's payment plan for their commission had been completed and the materials for the suit had been purchased. Shibe also expresses that they'd fallen on hard times and they also attended school. My guess is a college of some sort. And in this case, Shibe acknowledged that there was an unacceptable number of delays and a lack of communication. In this regard, Shibe appeared to be very cooperative and transparent. If Shibe had been more professional in their response and said, Look, I understand you're upset, but I will not be able to give you your money back as soon as you'd like, and followed that statement up by saying, I can't come up with an effective plan with you to refund your money or complete your commission with the amount of aggression you're showing, then I wouldn't be able to knock Shibe for trying. The thing that makes Shibe unsympathetic in this case is the lack of professionalism and composure they showed in response to this customer. The most shocking case, though, amongst all the bewares I was given for this video, and the last case I'm going to be mentioning comes from an individual that first commissioned DCS, get this, back in 2012. 2012! I wish they were kidding me when I was told that we had a member of the DCS family that has been left hanging here just like the rest of us for a decade. And as a member of the furry community, I'm not only disgusted by this, but my heart legitimately breaks for this person. 
I could go on about how inexcusable this is, as I'm sure no fursuit maker in their right mind would make a customer wait that long with no contact, no work in progress pics, and no refund, nothing without a damn good reason. But I feel like that kind of be redundant at this point. So, given all the information I've presented thus far, where do I stand in this whole situation? Well, once again, I don't think Dynamic Cat Studio is a case of a scam fursuit maker. As a matter of fact, nobody that's helped me with this video or provided up aware thinks DCS is a scam fursuit maker as far as I know. Shibe does make fursuits and does have a number of satisfied customers under their belt. The situation is pretty complicated. This isn't exactly your typical case of an unknown fursuit maker throwing up an open for commission sign and stealing people's money, which unfortunately is still something that happens to a lot of furries out there. However, I have been informed that Shibe does have a tendency to take advantage of customers who are overly nice and patient. People who don't need their fursuit right away and are willing to wait until projects with strict deadlines are completed first. Which sounds reasonable. Until we pretty much got a confession straight from the horse's mouth that Shibe likes to keep people waiting until they give up and or cancel their commission because commissions that are fully paid for that get canceled not only don't require the refund by Dynamic Cat Studios' own terms of service, but those materials and pre-started projects are then turned into pre-made suits and sold off. It's a win-win situation for Shibe and a lose-lose situation for the person who paid for the original commission. And that turns into a very easy system to abuse. Knowing that, I, for one, am glad that, to this day, in 2022, my commission for Gyptus the Dutch Angel Dragon has not been cancelled. But at the same time... It's been four years, and I can guarantee that the duct tape dummy that I sent to Shibe for this commission, it won't work anymore. I've put on quite a few pounds since then, and if I'm going to have to remake that duct tape dummy and spend another $50 to ship it to Mexico, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm not necessarily trying to say, down with Dynamic Cat Studio. However, I and many others out there think it's time for Shibe to be more transparent with what's going on. Dynamic Cat Studio is aware that these bewares are being put up. Shibe is aware that those of us who never got a fursuit that paid for one are starting to step up and push back. The least we are looking for is a public apology and a game plan going forward. Again, my own commission has been sitting, rotting in a queue, on Dynamic Cat's Trello page for years, and no progress has been made. And seeing how it is that there are people who have been waiting since at least 2012 on here, all of that is entirely inexcusable. At this time, as a fellow furry, I advise you all to steer clear of Dynamic Cat Studio if you're in the market for a fursuit, because you're essentially tossing a coin as to whether or not the commission you pay for is actually going to be prioritized and be completed. And if it is, then it means someone else's commission has been left to sit and collect dust in a corner. Shibe, we all know you can do better. Gyptus and I will be waiting. Anyways, that'll be all for this video, you guys. Thank you for watching. Holy shit, this video took an obscene amount of time to make. A special thanks to Chaos and her team for helping me with the subtitles to this video. As many of Dynamic Cat's customers are from Spanish-speaking countries, we thought it appropriate to include a translation for those who don't speak English as their first language. I'm not sure if there's going to be an update for this video in the future. Like I said, Shibe is aware that the customer bewares are being put up, but I don't know what that could mean for me and Gyptus in the future. 
Let me know what you thought about this video down in the comment section below. My name is Blue Raven 666 and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.